Only us Londoners can prattle on about this town. The rest should shut up. How'd you do? Then what are you doing here? Goodbye. Be more careful. There's a war on. How goes the investigation? Go on. Really? I guess... Let's see then. Well, you think you know a man. I almost don't want to believe it. The truth can be difficult to accept. It can be messy and inconvenient. But it is always worth seeking out. Thank you. They'll face sanctions for this, mark my words. The agreement is null. They forfeited their half of the land. You've done well, and proven yourself worthy of Camelot. From this day forth, this land is your land. You shall defend it as your own. I bestow upon you the rank of sergeant. May you serve it well. Now, I had questions if we ever cross paths. Questions about our new head of the civil service, Smythe. Guinevere, our agent in Westminster, has been looking into them for years, but they remain elusive. Who are they? I see. That's some alarming intel. How did you come by it? Roth, I imagine that trail led you to Westminster. But who let you in? Few have the privilege to come and go. Curious. I assume that meeting never happened, judging by your prompt incarceration. After you escaped, Tristan and Istult met you at the tournament. It seems you were more than just an observer. They said you were looking for explosives, so I must assume you were behind the explosion. Why exactly? So you wanted to kill Smythe, but ended up causing the tragedy that gave them more power. I'd wager Mr. X was more fond of Smythe than he let on. But that's in the past. No point dwelling on it. I expect this Smythe character will take a role in things to come. We must be ready to face all the gentry can throw at us. They're with Smythe now. That gets me onto your next assignment. I want to strike a blow against the Tommies. But I don't want to take military action. At least not yet. Percival is looking into something that you can help with. Speak to him. Good luck, Sergeant.
There you are. Arthur told me of your arrival. I'd stand up to greet you, but I'm too busy with my work, as you can see. I am Percival, Head of Communications for Camelot. This is my personal office. Quite beautiful, no? What you see here is the result of hard work, perseverance, and my genius idea of stealing the BBM storage key after I quit my job. Now, whatever happens, we have got their bloody equipment, and they have not. Words of encouragement, valiant speeches straight from Arthur's mouth, and near-constant reminders of what the gentry has taken from us. Or, as the layman calls it, propaganda. Help, yes. Any assistance is much appreciated. You see, one of my duties is to keep in contact with all of the fractured factions in this great nation of ours. Partly to offer assistance, and partly to stop them from getting any bright ideas about assisting the other side. I've been in conversation with a strange tribe based in Brickton, and they are not happy with how these devious Tommies have been treating them. I, for one, can't stand to see oppression, especially when the oppressed have agreed to oust the Tommies in favor of Camelot protection. We stand to gain much more than mere tickets from this exchange. If we can show the people that Camelot stands for democracy and freedom, then it's only a matter of time before others follow in this tribe's footsteps. And if we can do it while kicking the Tommies in their righteous fannies, well, that's a win-win, isn't it? My heart bleeds for all those who live under tyranny. <laughs> especially those who can develop into key strategic alliances. They don't like anything made after 1922, for one. They believe the Great War was a sign from the spirits that we should all return to living in huts. I believe any man, woman or child, should be free to live life as they desire, even if that means wiping their asses with sticks and stones. As expected of the gentry's foot soldiers, the Tommies see the tribe's quirky and strange beliefs as signs of savagery. Take their town's name, for example. Instead of referring to it as Brickton, the way the tribes have taken to calling it, the Tommies insist on referring to it as Brixton. They believe the Tommies are there to civilize them. I believe this is our chance to show the Tommies what civilization truly means. I can see now why you caught Arthur's keen eye. I want you to go to Brickton and find Roach, the tribe's leader. He is a strange man, but you must treat him with utmost respect. He has a plan on how to push the Tommies away, help him return to me, and then perhaps you'll find yourself within Camelot's highest ranks. Good luck, servant of Camelot. Ever vigilant. I wish we could stay like this forever. I am 
humbly welcome you back to the land of Brickton. I had a feeling our fates would align once again. Mother Earth told me so. But I do wish our paths crossed once more under a kinder moon. For this one is littered with cunning and secrecy. Now, me and my fellow tribesmen have come up with three simple tasks that will agitate the Tommies and push them out of our land without the need for violence. First, you shall poison their ration supplies with these laxatives. Then, you shall destroy the generator that's powering their turrets. And finally, you'll spread rumors about the man leading this battalion, the dreadful Lieutenant Doyle. Fulfill these three tasks, and soon Camelot will have an ally in Brigton. Watch your step. I see strange storm clouds in your horizon. Be careful. We won't go quietly. You can count on that. Private Kerr, sir! Oh, sorry. Thought you were Lieutenant Doyle for a moment. How can I help you? Really? What is it? I don't believe that. We've spent months cursing these people under our breaths. Now we're going to live like them. Then again, Doyle would do anything for a strategic victory, even if it meant making us abandon our lives to stay in Brixton. Forever. Thank you for sharing. But... I wish I could meet the Queen. Mind the gap and all that. Britannia, Britannia all the ways. Britain's never, never, never shall be
Oh, how I wish we could stay like this forever. It's a wonder they haven't shut this whole place down. Insane to take on the Tommies. <laughs> 